Hey everybody, welcome back to Satisfactory Update number 6. So, in between episodes, I have done a little bit of things, as you can probably see. Um, the most important thing is I've got a temporary computer assembler up and running, or manufacturer, excuse me, up and running here. So we'll take circuit boards, cables, plastic, and screws. Um, so I ran our plastics and rubbers up to our storage floor and I have now got the plastics feeding into our manufacturer. I also have our plastics feeding into this assembler which is making circuit boards which is one of the computer components. And I'm doing this just to get computers going. So I need computers for expanded power infrastructure and that's taking... Um, I want that running while we're doing other things. Uh, okay, so me setting this up though also destroyed our power grid. So you're not gonna be able to see it from here, but I set up another five coal power generators over in Smelter Town, and that's just teeing off of the coal being supplied to our foundries for our steel production. So I, I've got a little belt of coal coming off of that, and just powering five. Um, coal generators. That's just to keep our power somewhat in order until we get these um, gas power generators going. So you can see our, our max consumption is still over our actual capacity but I mean hopefully we're gonna have our expanded power infrastructure going very very soon hopefully this episode and then that will all be sorted. Yeah well, that's the plan. Also, this evening, we are drinking our first coffee-based beverage, which is a Spanish coffee. So, it is triple sec Kahlua, uh, coffee with cream, and a little bit of rum. Cheers. Yeah, delicious. I don't... I'm not a coffee drinker. So I don't tend to just drink coffee, but I'll drink a fancy coffee. Especially a, a Spanish coffee, or I um, also like cappuccinos a lot and espressos and stuff, but I don't tend to just drink like just a coffee, so. This is all new and exciting for me as well. Having to brew coffee in order to make a drink. Oh boy. Okay, so we do have these computers going. Uh, how many do we have? 46. So we got a long way to go. Yeah. Now what we can do while that is running is prepare to have our actual computer production computer and um, heavy frames loaded up and ready to go. So why don't we start working on that? Take me down to steel. And actually, this is something else we gotta do is run way more transport tubes. Because this is getting ridiculous. So here's our encased beams. Did we ever do this? We didn't. Did I run encased beams up here? Is that what happened? I think encased beams are running on this floor right now. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Where's my door? Oh my gosh. Everything is so crammed in. Where's the door? Oh, it's so bad. We're gonna have to figure something out. In these rooms. Okay. So this is... In case beams. These are our frames. These, these are actually happening. Okay, very good. So down here, down here, we are going to have, oops, our heavy modular frame production and our computer production on this floor. Now I always like to have four manufacturers for each of these, that's kind of my goal. The problem is I don't remember the dimensions of these manufacturers. 
I can tell you this is going to be a big floor. So we're going to want this like this. Maybe we'll bring this in, come down a couple, and then come back out. Maybe we'll just come straight down. Oh, I'll just come straight down. We're gonna need we're gonna need space. Manufacturers are massive and take up a lot of space. And actually, we can even bump this floor out one more if we wanted to. I don't think that's necessary though. Now, in order to build a manufacturer, we're gonna need heavy frames. Which we don't have. And those require screws, which is awful. Because we don't have those either. Hmm. Maybe what we're going to do... Why don't we build our transport tube here? Let's go see. Let's go see what's going on over here. Maybe we can fire another transport tube up here. Well, the problem is, it's going to go through a floor. Let's do this. We'll bump it out too. Whoops. Build some walls. Excuse me. Is there power down here? Oh, don't fall off. Okay. Railings, you're killing me. So we gotta run power over here. Nope, not like that. I know we have power somewhere on this floor. But we are going to want it over here. So give me power like this. This will all change, but for now, it will do quite nicely. Give me power there, and you know what? Give me power there, too. Sure. Now we are going to want a transport tube. Maybe we're on, on this side. Just to keep it out of the way of that one. So why don't we do that for now? Give me an entrance. But we are going to have to figure out how we're bringing it all the way up. And I don't actually know how we're going to do that yet. So let's go see. What we can do is let's put a support. Why why won't you go on here? You can't go on the wall? Really? That seems odd. Why won't you go on the wall? I feel like... Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's because there is a wall support. Okay. Mystery solved. <laughs> oh, boy. So let's do this. No. Yeah. I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. Right, cool. But we gotta figure out where this is gonna end. How are we gonna end this? Over here? Like this? Maybe. Let's try it. Let's see how that looks. Get in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe 
Maybe. Oh, man. The real reason we're coming up here... Oh, God, that's not in line at all. The real reason we're coming up here is because we need screws. Uh, wall hole right there. We need screws to build our heavy frames. And we need 10 heavy frames. Oh, I don't like this at all. So I'm going to get sucked into here by accident. Oh yeah, I won't even let me build it here. Okay. Um, let's put it over here then. I need 10 heavy frames to build a manufacturer. And actually, I might do 20 heavy frames. Because we're going to need a couple manufacturers. I'm going to build one computer manufacturer, one heavy frame manufacturer for now. Just while we're waiting for these computers. Have a full thing of screws here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Because we can at least start getting these things plumbed in. Uh, can you actually? Yeah. Give me one more of those. Okay. So twenty heavy frames. I can build four. <laughs> oh, because the screws. Yeah, it takes so many screws. Man. That's crazy. Do you have a full a full thing of screws as well? You do. What are we waiting for? Circuit boards. What what are we short on for circuit boards? Plastic. Oh no. Did my truck break down? So during the power failure I may have lost my truck route. Yeah, I'm going to have to go see. Um, okay, what do I need? I need some more pipes. Okay, give me a couple more pipes. Get rid of these. Let me build one more... Oh no, let me build three more heavy frames and figure out what's going on with my plastics. That's super weird. But that's happening. Okay. Have one more block of screws, please. Thank you. And you can have them back after. Ten. Okay. Oh, I bet you I know what happened. Uh, okay. So. Yeah, I bet you I know what happened. Hey, we get to chat test out our new uh, tubes tube system though. Let's see. Take me down. So I bet that our... Oh no, there's, there's stuff going up. <laughs> okay, it's coming. It's making its way slowly but surely. When the um, the coal coke or whatever it is fills up, it's going to slow down our our process a bit. Let's make these level two for now. While I'm down here, I'm still going to go check on it. Eventually, we will bring our that. Uh, the byproduct that that coal coke byproduct from our um, plastic and rubber manufacturing, we'll use it for our steel industry. But right now, it's it's just going into a container that's got to be emptied every once in a while, which is 
a massive pain. Ah, let me out. But it looks like everything's still running for now. The truck is still going. Do we have a full load here? Yeah, sort of. Let's go see what's going on. When we get the fuel generation up, I might make one of these making fuel and one of these making the uh, this coal coke here. Oh yeah, it's full. Okay. So we're not generating plastic or rubber right now because this is full. This is such a pain. We need to figure out something better to do with this stuff. Oh, that's all I wanted. Um, making turning this into fuel will be nice because we can burn it and then make power, which is great. Uh, cold coke was also good because we can we have that alternate recipe now for it. So that's a good opportunity. But this is something that's got to be figured out because, as you can see, our plastic is suffering. And unfortunately, we can't just dump it into the awesome shop. The awesome sink. That does not work. Garbage, please. So every once in a while, I gotta come down and do this. Whoop. Oh yeah, what's it called? Petroleum Coke, yeah. So highly non-ideal. But we're very close to getting expanded power up, and then we can turn these to um, this byproduct fuel, this residual fuel. Yeah, man. That'll be huge. Actually, looking at this, this is the only way to make fuel. I can make fuel in polymer resin. And then polymer resin and water will turn into residuals, plastic and rubber. Yeah, man. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of figuring things out. A lot of stuff to figure out. Also, while we're here, let's empty this. Air truck. Let's, let's go for a ride. Yeah. 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 The truck will take us back. Well, hello, Bean. Hey, are you going to go? Or are you not going to go because I'm inside? Seriously? Oh, okay, yeah, it just will not go with me riding it. That's too bad. I feel like... I think you used to be able to ride them before. As long as they're on autopilot, they would just take you. I guess I could drive it back here manually, and it'll automatically go back to the uh, closest autopilot route, but I don't want to risk messing it up. Yeah, the base is looking, looking better. I'm looking a little bit better every day. Okay, I'm getting some plastic. Is there plastic in here? Yes, there is. Actually, right now, there's more plastic than we know what to do with. We should um, fix these belts while we're down here. I didn't realize we were delivering stuff that quickly. So we should definitely make these belts faster. Okay, you're already done, perfect. Uh, well, I'm not making it all the way up there, unfortunately. Ooh, but I can do this. 
Pick me up. Let's get these belts set up a little quicker. Oh no. What the hell just happened? Okay, so it shot me out. It shot me out into the other pipe. Is that what happened? No. I don't know what just happened. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> okay, plastic. And rubber. Is this not rubber here? Pretty sure that's rubber. Yeah, that's definitely rubber. Okay. So let's get rubber sorted. Let's get rubber sorted. And now... This computer manufacturer should be going a little quicker. Because we have lots of stuff in here, right? You're running? You are running. Good. Oh, we're almost there. Okay. I need 50 plastic, though. I wish I hadn't uh, taken all that plastic off. Give me five more, please. Perfect. Why are you powering down? Oh, circuit board still. You're making 18 per minute, and you're only using 10. Oh, he's in 25. Okay, well, that's that's going to be a thing. So we're almost at computers. Or we almost have our 100 computers, I should say. Sorry. Let's go down and let's get this set up. And we're going to set up frames first, which is on this side. So give me a sign. I don't even know what floor we're on anymore. What floor is this? Floor two. Oh, floor three, heavy frames. Oh, I've already set it up. Good job, me. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, manufacturer. Now we're not plugging this into our wiring yet because that is gonna be bad times. So let's stick you here. So we're gonna want a gap in between these here. And you take up two and a half. So I would like a half gap, which means we need one more layer here. Yep. Right, so there's one and a half, two. Okay, and then we need a layer in front. There we go. So this is how big this room is gonna be. This rock is probably gonna screw things up for us. As rocks do. Okay. Let's do one more. Why not? Oh shoot, that's not right at all. Let's try that again. Okay, you go like this. All right, I'll try. Get some walls going here. Four, please. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, this rock's definitely gonna give us some issues. That's fine. our computer floor. It is significantly bigger than these other floors. So we're going to have to figure something out to do with these because this is probably not going to look like this when we're finished. But I'm not worried about that right now. Uh, no, sorry, this is heavy frames, not, not computers. And we're not plugging this in yet. But, as a heavy frame, what do you need? You need a lot of screws. So, 200 screws, frames, beams, and pipes. Oh, maybe we didn't need to go out so far. I wonder if I just put these in a row. How wide are you? Two and a half. So that's one, two, three, four. We might be able to get away. Because you make 260. So I only need four of these and everything else can be brought from upstairs. Yeah, you know what? My apologies to the world, but we are we're gonna redo this floor. It does not need to be as aggressively huge as I thought originally. Cool. Oh man, this mass <laughs> deconstruct is so good. Sorry about building and demolishing and building, but that's something that happens. And I think what we're going to do as well, well actually I should say what I know we're going to do, is rather than... Uh, I'm going to redo this too. Oops. Oh, whatever. Rather than, like, haul things like the pipes and the frames down from our storage location, we're going to bring them down from the actual floors they're built on. Rather than bringing the frames all the way up and then turning around and bringing them all the way back down, we're just going to bring them down. Give me a tilted wall, please. Oh, I saw it. Yes. Look at that tilted wall. Sweet. Okay. Well, we've done a thing. So let's think about bringing stuff down for this thing. And the first thing we're going to want is a screw assembler. Which we're going to put probably as far back as possible. Probably there. And you are making alternate screws and you need 200, right? Yes, you do. Okay. Well, you get a fast belt. There we go. Look at We've done a thing. Look at all the things we've done. And everything else is fine. So we're going to need 120 pipe. 
40 beams, 40 frames. Okay. Okay. We can do this. Let me, let me drink some of this. Oh, the other thing I've done is I've disconnected the um, space elevator parts. Just because they were using a lot of resources that I want to get this running. And also using a lot of power that I don't have. So those are temporarily disconnected. So let's do this. Let's bring... Let's bring the parts in here. Nope, let's bring the parts in here. Okay. We only need three parts brought in. No, sorry, we need four parts brought in. Okay, so there's that and there's that. The first part we want brought in is frames, which is gonna be super easy. And um, I think we're gonna do this like this. You need, okay. I think we're gonna do this like this. Are we gonna do this like this? I don't know if we're gonna do this like this. I think we are, okay. We can come back and fix this up after. Can I walk under this? Yes, I can. Oh, I bet you're going the wrong direction. Hold on, are you going the wrong direction? Yeah, of course you are. Oh no, you're going the right direction. Yeah, you're going the right direction. Well, that's a pleasant change. Okay, give me a stackable pull. Right here. And zoot me, baby. And for now, we're just going to have all these as basic belts. Just until I figure out what the heck it is exactly we're doing here. some splitters and we're gonna line this up with this kind of like this yeah oh no my sloped roof <laughs> okay I'm sure that'll be fine what do you line up with you line up with you perfect you line up with you. Let, let's change this a bit. While we're here, before we get too far down the rabbit hole, let's change this. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now, what are we going to do with this? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. What we're going to do with this is come back later. And what we're going to do with this is do this. Um, okay, so we're going to bring the plates in. Whoops. The plates have to go in the top. The steel beams, excuse me. Steel beams have to go in the top. 
That's fair. These. Does that sort of make sense? I feel like that sort of makes sense. Does that sort of make sense? Yeah, okay. That's a little off angle, but I mean, it'll work. It'll work. Sweet. All right. Things are happening. Why don't we go see how our computers are doing? Oh, wow. We are way over time. Let me take me off my computers. Not quite. What are we short of? We're still short of circuit boards. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we are going to put a cut in here, though. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. Please join us next time when we finish plumbing in that uh, heavy frame manufacturer that we're installing downstairs. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please give us a like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. And we will see you next time. Cheers.